I can't, I... New controller. Why can't I control? Okay, here we go, stream manager. And we're back. Hey, stream. Life is strange. We did stop in the middle of an episode because I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> so. Let's get back into it. I wish I knew. I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish I knew. I don't know if that's coming. But I'm allowed to sing it, right? No, it's coming. But I'm singing it, it's not the actual song. I'm pretty sure it's just copyright. Really? That's why everyone hates it. Because it's so strict. I already did this part because I did cut it in the middle of this. Um, so I'm just gonna pick what I already picked. Like, make the same decisions. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Okay, here's wow. what I Wow! So many trees! Where the Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. But we never surrendered. Can I not look at the vendor? Behold, the giant condom machine. Who the fuck? Dad pushed every get a plastic tree. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Yeah. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? We'll have to tame the one we want.
find Daniel a Christmas present? Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. This one. Hmm. Too thin. You're right. We need a strong tree to protect our base from evil elves. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. <laughs> wow. Let's look at another one. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. This one is cool. Let's look at another one. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Is that a yo yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. I'm not gonna steal nothing quite yet. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Whoa. The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. Why does he talk like Pepper this? Like these. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I got 15 bucks. Great. Funny how all small towns products. always sell the Come same handcrafted crap. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Oh, I'm at the Ericsson's. Ooh, you're with Charles? That's good. Didn't know he had any relatives. Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Holy shit. You won't shit. find better deals in Beaver Creek. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. I cannot believe you did a month of ravioli. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. I want that yo-yo, but I should not steal it. Not yet. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. I think I'm ready to draw this. <sighs> time to take the pen, dude. He always says, time to take the pen. This place is nice. Pretty good. 
But I can add more details if I want. <laughs> okay. Got it. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books! The awesome adventures of... Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies or UFO? Oh, Jay, pick zombies or UFO? <clears throat> nah. Jay, pick. Nah. You're no fun. Yeah. Mm, what about a giant spaceship flying over Beaver Creek? <laughs> Daniel! I've looked enough. Time to draw now. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. In the back pocket. <laughs> she looks so out of place here. Cool. Bestie? It's me, it's me, you've come to take my doom. but she probably needs it more than me right now. <laughs> Whoa. The guy who painted that, he must have been seriously high. Hmm. Nope. <sighs> Man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. Okay, better find a gift for Daniel quick, while he's still busy with Chris. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it, too. Right? Hmm. Quiet morning. <sighs> Wish I could give... anything. Found what you were looking for, city huh? boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. 
Damn. Poor kid. Sorry. Um, I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. Got you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. I dig her. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. How did they know I them? dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. I don't like him. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? This hey, is an awkward conversation. No worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Oh.
He's not here. You downstairs? I know I should say drop it. I know I should say drop it. I know... I know the right thing to do is to tell Daniel, drop it. Well, whatever. Just stay out of it, but... See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Like what? They're pretty. What's pretty, bitch? So cool. How do I look, Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Uh, I miss my old toys. Seems like Charles is waiting for us. We should get going. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. He didn't even... <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't either, but... Let's hope Grandma and Grandpa don't find out that we went out in public because they didn't want us to go out in public. I feel like now I should be talking. Oh, I need... Okay, never mind. Uh-oh. <sighs> Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> No kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris, 
does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. <laughs> yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad on you. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. It's See Chris you later, on the way. Wolf. Oh, fuck, please don't be home. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. The second just... we go in, they're gonna figure out. I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has Music. tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <laughs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right? Wow. I'm, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yep, it's empty. Never mind, I told- I was lying about that. I thought he was peeing and I was like, sir, please close the door. <sighs> Locked door. Maybe Don't be surprised if she does it. Key to Karen's room is inside. Stay here in case they come back. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. That's them. 
<laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. Then why the fuck would I pick it up? But let's see what it opens. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Stephen listening to old school the pop teeth. rock music. We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. Sean. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute, but still, no key here. There? Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Why was Daniel calling my name early? Uh, Can I close the door? Okay, Daniel. Uh We have to get into that room before they come back. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. No, no. Fuck, I think I have to have him dope it. Move, you bitch. Oh, fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Fuck. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. Now they're definitely gonna find out we were in there. Haha. <laughs> really? Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The re they want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So... They looked happy. So cool. These pictures are so... random. Is that an amethyst? She was into new age bullshit. Maybe she just liked rocks. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. <laughs> I 
Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. This playlist is boring as hell. I think it's not plugged. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. So much. With Lila. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. I miss my music. Do I have to look at everything? It's like she almost never used those. And then when I plug it in, I won't be able to hear Grandma and Grandpa pull into the driveway. <sighs> the fuck is wrong with this? Oh. Hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so. Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? I would clear lock these up in here. Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Literally, stop reaching over and grabbing. Yeah. Oh, God, I How hate when this? people do that. Like, I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out. In this case, I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? It, 
We were just looking for answers. And, uh... Were they really worth breaking my door open? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't hear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Stephen! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Stephen, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! If Claire sees, we're dead. But Steven knows. So... Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. Me, 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 Where me, are me. you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. So is she pissed now? It's the sheriff. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call him. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. I knew that if I called, they would... No, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is 
so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. If I just didn't make that damn call, no, it would have happened anyways. Because we had to Watch go out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me. I had to call Lila. But did you... Man. Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. He wasn't. You saved his life. He, he did some it's lies. Just now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the spirit squad, right? I hope so, Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. Don't burn that. We don't, don't burn need that. her, okay? But... Oh, is it the way? She don't said she wanted it. to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Do not burn that letter. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Oh, they got Dates presents. are boring. Here. The grandparents got presents for the boys. Gee. A yo-yo? Gee. Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. 
I got something for you too. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. <laughs> oh, what? That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. Oh, I never showed Shereen my tattoo.
It's been about an hour. Mm. I think I'm gonna end it here. Because I do have homework to do. Let's see. I threw a snowball at Daniel and Mushroom. You're telling me only 11% of people did that. You intervened and scared the cougar off. You let- Oh damn! 45% of people let Dan kill the cougar! Okay, prayed. No one prayed. Okay, that's an option. Damn, 50-50 about Steven. Helped with extra chores, yeah. Mm-hmm, okay. You use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. 44% did, and I- the majority didn't. Okay, that makes me feel better. Only 25% did call Lila, but I am confused about, like, the whole mom thing. Like, how would I have gotten into that? Like, only 7% talked to the mom. Only 8% talked to the mom. And, like, I'm so confused. How would that have- anyways. Oh, I didn't gain Chris's trust. Oh, because I couldn't- I didn't know who was who. Protect Daniel's secret. Didn't listen to Cassidy's song, sorry. Um, 17% drew zone. Most people didn't draw. Damn. Oh, most people bought a present. Oh, people did several. Nuh-uh. Uh, honest conversation with Charles about his problems. I see- I think it would have been good for Charles to have an honest conversation about his problems. Like, and I think in that moment he was willing to, but I didn't want to be another person saying, Oh, you're doing this wrong, blah blah, you know what I mean? Like, he's got so many people saying that to him, I just want- I figured, why not let Sean be someone to just listen, you know? You chose to pull Steven out together and injured his leg. Who? Cops didn't, didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. How would I get that? Chris helped you, how would I get that? Daniel continued to swear. Fuck. Without cheating. Didn't kill. Oh, because if we murdered the cougar, he would have. Why would Daniel refuse to pray? Like, what's. Like, you know, some of these, like, Chris helped you escape. Lila's mom. Like, and then Daniel refusing to pray. It's like, what decision do I make in the past would lead to this? You know what I mean? Like, wh why would Daniel refuse to pray? And why would Chris come with us? Daniel didn't want to tidy. How do I get Daniel to tidy? Oh, I wasn't asking. Hmm. Ooh. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use his power. Overall, Daniel was pr repressed from using his power. Okay. Daniel didn't have to save Chris, and Daniel didn't use his power. Oh, if I repressed him from using his power, Chris probably would have gotten hit. Daniel blamed himself for Chris's accident. Daniel blamed you for Chris. Damn. Oh. Oh, damn. That's okay. Yeah, that's intense. Yep. Oh, so if I made him hate his power, he wouldn't have used it for Chris. Okay, wait. I'm I'm calling it quits here. Um, wait, can I? Nope. Okay. I guess I gotta go through. So this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Okay. That's that. Thanks to the two people who tuned in to watch. Probably were bots, but thanks anyways.